<laughs> good day friends welcome back to fanny for the soul uh, today i have a very special hockey story for you uh, as you know hockey was absolutely the flavor of the olympics for india uh, the men's team got the bronze and the women uh, just missed it by a whisker and but both the teams made us extremely proud and hockey is back in the reckoning um, in any case it's the national sport of the country so uh, i want to tell you about um, how privileged i was in 1986 to uh, meet two uh, olympians olympian hockey players who played in the 1936 uh, gold medal winning team under Ma major dhyan chand Uh, they were um, the late joe phillips and the uh, late babu nimal both uh, players from khadki uh, suburb of uh, pune city uh, this was 50 years after they had won the gold medal and i was extremely lucky to uh, go and meet them along with the, my then you know my, my b school buddy uh, milin sate who came along with me to shoot the photographs um, though i do not have the photos with me right now uh, the point is we have the article and i can i'm going to run you through this wonderful uh, meeting with the two stalwarts now let me start with the uh, a little of their background both of them uh, were working in ammunition factory khadki they played for the khadki united team and and uh, played for bombay provinces because of their uh, excellent uh, um, hockey skills they were selected for the uh, 1936 olympics team um joe was our deep defender and babu nimal was our center half then they played almost all the games in the olympics you know they were very crucial players let me start the story with joe with some photographs this is the article you know wizards of a forgotten heritage uh, it was uh, published in the sports world national magazine from kolkata uh, in in 1986 Uh, it says this is the story of two former olympians joe phillips and babu nimal who won two gold medals at berlin in 1936 but today are forgotten living merely for memories rahul chandawarkar met them so it's a very very memorable article for me this is from my uh, you know uh, album and uh, the, this is uh, i'll get to that uh, later uh, joe was sadly living in absolute poverty he was in this little two room tenement in khadki this is standing at the as my arrow points out is standing at the door um, and and this is the group photo i'll tell you more about this olympics group photo in a, in a while the, um, let me show a photograph of joe that i have with me see the um, the story about joe phillips is that uh, <clears throat> uh, joe sadly never went to school so in that sense he was illiterate Uh, he was a helper in the ammunition factory khadki earning very little money uh, but his hockey took him to great glory um, he got the gold medal came back to india but sadly the ammunition factory khadki never made uh, gave him a promotion or anything of that sort he remained a helper so uh, in disgust about uh, 10 years later he he uh, chucked up the job and then he was a coach a hockey coach to many schools and colleges Uh, in and around in uh, you know in pune and khadki and and he earned some money from that but uh, but you know um, it was hand to mouth uh, existence and his wife had to take up a job as an aya in in a nearby hospital uh, and and they really had a tough tough life you know but uh, talking of hockey uh, he has uh, joe had some excellent memories he he uh, had told me that he was a penalty corner Uh, expert and he told me how um, uh, there was no drag flick in those days and so uh, he used to take the shot in in perfect understanding with the forwards who used to deflect it into into the goal so that was the strategy that the indian team 1936 team used uh, against um, all the uh, countries that participated uh, then uh, we played 28 matches in two months in in on our germany tour and uh, except for the loss in the very first game uh, we won all the rest of the 27 games quite a record and and uh, jo uh, speak you know speaking of dhyanchand the um, major dhyanchand jo used to, had told me that the uh, major saab was unstoppable he scored five times uh, in our 8-1 victory in the finals you know we beat germany the host country uh, eight goals to one goal 
in the finals with uh, Yanchan shooting five goals. And uh, don't forget that uh, the Führer Adolf Hitler was watching that game personally at the stadium. So that was the kind of uh, background. And Joe told me uh, that you know there were six defenders trying to block Dhyanchan and still Dhyanchan could dribble past them and score at will. Uh, you know, uh, I remember uh, Joe telling me this, you know, he, he said that uh, when, when he spoke about uh, Dhyanchan, he said, um, and, and, you know, let me uh, have a photo of Dhyanchan so that you get a good idea. So this is, uh, you know, a, a lovely photo from groundreport.in, the portal groundreport.in uh, of uh, Major Dhyanchan in his, uh, you know, hockey gear with his hockey stick on the ground. Um, uh, he was arguably the greatest uh, Indian hockey player ever. So the, this is what Joe Phillips told me, uh, quote, unquote, you know. He said, uh, Dhyanchan Sahib was truly a great man. Nobody in the world will be able to master his stick work, ball control, first time passing, and his mystical dribbling, unquote. And uh, this was the kind of uh, praise uh, his fellow players had for him. And, uh, you know, uh, it, uh, it was my real privilege to have met people like Joe Phillips and uh, Babu Nimal. Let me show you something. Uh, let me move to Babu Nimal now. Uh, Babu Nimal was more fortunate than uh, 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 Joe Phillips in that sense that he had been to school. He was a little educated and... Uh, they promoted promoted him as supervisor in the ammunition factory Karki. and he you know he worked right up to his pensionable age and he always felt very very uh, much for Joe and he used to tell me that I, I feel very sorry for Joe many of us have tried to help him uh, financially uh, but uh, he's had a very very rough life and Babu Nimal um, let me show you um, this is uh, the photograph of, uh, you know, 1986 of Babu Nimal. He was already 82 years old then and uh, to Joe's uh, 70 years. And uh, Babu Nimal uh, was very articulate in the Hindi language and spoke very, very well uh, about uh, the entire 1936 experience. He told me that, um, you know, um, in the very first game uh, against, uh, in a practice game against Germany, um, it was raining heavily and uh, our, our boys didn't have studs because we went a little underprepared and, and um, uh, we slipped and fell and hence we lost one goal to four goals to Germany. But that was the only loss. The very next day, um, the, the team manager got studs for all the players. In fact, two pairs of shoes uh, for all the players and we never looked back. Uh, you know, like we, uh, now what is history? We beat Germany eight goals to one in that memorable final to get the gold medal. So, uh, ba uh, Nimal used to, had told me then that, you know, uh, there's some stories. And he said, the Americans were so mystified by Dhyanchan that they, they believed that there was a magnet attached to, uh, you know, uh, Dhyanchan's uh, sticks. Uh, you know, so they, 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 they wanted to check all his sticks. And Dhyanchan... Um, very casually gave them all the sticks that he had, saying, here, you take my sticks, but give me your sticks. So he took those American hockey sticks, and the next day, they, India beat uh, the US uh, of A seven goals to zero, uh, just to prove that uh, there was no magic, but just skill that Dhyanchan possessed. And, and uh, uh, one lovely anecdote that um, you know, uh, Nimal, Nimal shared with me uh, way back then was uh, how Jesse Owens took a liking. The great athlete, Jesse or American athlete, Jesse Owens, who had got four gold medals in that 1936 Olympics. He took a liking for the Indian hockey team and spent uh, quite a bit of time, I believe, with the with the Anchand and his boys. That's, that's so uh, memorable, really. Uh, and, uh, you know, finally, uh, Babu Nimal had this to say. I'm going to read out, you know, uh, about the Anchand. Uh, with really tears welling up in his eyes. Um, he said, uh, uh, Dhyanchan Saab, there is nobody in this century or the next will be able to equal Dhyanchan Saab's game. He was poetry in motion. The moment he uh, got the ball, he used to pass it to a player in a more advantageous position. Dhyanchan Saab is the one who inculcated the passing combo game in all of us. And, and we used it to good effect. This is what Nimal had told me 
uh, way back almost you know uh, uh, so many years back in 1986 you know which is which is a good uh, 35 years ago when when i was lucky to meet them in flesh and blood so uh, let me show you a group photo of that wonderful team uh, which uh, you know you will find very interesting this is the wonderful 1936 um you know berlin olympics gold medal that both babu nimal and joe phillips uh, you know proudly showed to me uh, it's it's such an honor really to even you know feel and touch that medal mm. and and uh, let me show you the group photo the wonderful team that uh, had you know, gone uh, to germany uh, this is a photo uh, from my mag magazine article and follow the arrow the uh, sit, seated extreme left down here is babu nimal yeah you can you see him here yeah there's a topi and and the you know hockey stick and this handsome man is babu nimal and standing extreme right yeah this man is uh, the late uh, joe phillips and um, let me show you dhyanchand this gentleman in the white shirt here is major dhyanchand um this man on uh, on my right where the arrow is is uh, roop singh dhyanchand's uh, younger brother who was a very dangerous forward and this team had some fantastic players there was allen there was roop singh there was pp fernandes there was emmet kapsali hussein masood mikri the goalkeeper and ahmed share you know um uh, ahmed share this is ahmed share standing extreme left the tall man um you know uh, he uh, emmer share if i'm not mistaken is our uh, you know former india player aslam share khan's uh, father so uh, it is quite fascinating really you know this this uh, this wonderful photograph of the 1936 indian hockey team which returned with the gold medal so um, you know i'm i hope you like this story and uh, let us uh, uh, you know i'm sure babu nimal and joe phillips Uh, will be blessing this indian hockey team both of them the men's and the women's from up there in the heavens thank you